a change in the sun. In Tuesday, July 2013. Sonia. I write in poesy and rhythm, finding my flow with the courses from above. I stand with the divine in nature to rewind pain that should not have been. I find that the sun served the stars and the moon an incandescent moon, transcending and illuminating the night within crescent and lunatical tunes. Words that they say do not exist when I should say maniacal. I create lunatical, for it comes from la luna, the moon, the sky woman she that shines ever so brightly, and I know her well, it seems, as I bask and glow in her, cool warmth that glitters in my bones and the night I reverberate in power and glare down my enemies that once trapped me in prison of torture but no more, see? There's a change, you see, for there's a change in me. I have a new glory, a new skin that is appealing to the God that parents me, both in the male and female, that has taught me and continues to teach me to wisdom me, to discern and counsel me, and might me, to knowledge and spirit me, and fear of the Lord me in ways I dare not speak of, for that is fool's loss and my gain. I seek no more pain, for I have had enough, and the only pain I do seek is that which will train up my muscles to war in love, to enjoy the dance of passion and sex with sacred love. I rose gambles in oneness with the he I am to love it perhaps, and perchance with another of which I am to gain the passion or rather have a return with. Maybe I am not to return the bonnet, of that I am sure, but I am to regain treasure lost and stolen by hand, thought, family, and friend, yet foe and fiend. I did yield. This I acknowledge of my wealth for others' sake, but no more, for you see, the sun needs the moon, and I am daughter of she and of he, but the moon, she calls out to me, and it is not evil, for she, she embraces the overpowering wilt of the sun fire, and cools his passion, as I will and do my love, and that is my calling. My own passion as the thorns in Christ's crown and sword in his side of that forgotten cross that millennial days away from today. And yet, there's a change in the sun. A new dawn is days to have begun. And I lay my brow down upon and its shoulder as Jupiter meets Mars and Venus to no longer slide or judge but to unite souls and incandescence, for it is time for the illumination of the beings of time, of you and I, to take our place. For there is a change in the sun. The moon has risen and answered. See.